Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for April 1st, 2021. Well, yesterday we saw a nice surge in activity in the big tech sector yesterday, but unfortunately we left behind just a little bit of uncertainty as well. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we grab ourselves something to drink? Let's get comfortable in our office chairs and let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone. Thanks for being here. Um, yesterday, we saw a really nice push into tax, but by the end of the day, we saw just a little bit of concern um, coming in as we saw some profit takers and we've been getting we've been getting a lot of these whipsaws here lately and I'm sure there's a lot of folks that have been feeling just a little bit um, gun shy here recently because of the whips that we've seen in the market but let's take a look and see if we can gain some information and gain some clarity by looking at the technicals and the price action of the chart. First off, let's take a look at the diamonds here. Now the Dow, I have to tell you, there's really, there's just nothing but bullishness here. The Dow is holding up very, very well, really, really strong. And although we saw just a little teeny tiny rest yesterday, we've talked about how um, this big surge in three days really did require some consolidation, some rest to settle down. And that's exactly what we're getting. Now, the question remains, how long will we consolidate? And I really honestly wouldn't be all that surprised to see us consolidate all the way out here toward this trend. We can rest in here for a period of time, long period of time. Just look right through here. Now, I know everyone wants the market just to continue to surge up, and I get that. But we still have those challenges out there with bonds continuing to show bullishness. Um, we've got all these data points coming our way. So it's a little bit difficult to, um, to see us just shooting straight back up at the moment. And, and really some, some consolidation would be healthy for the market. If we could just calm things down a little bit, that would be really nice instead of this all or nothing surge back and forth. But who knows, um, what I see here is a nice resting pattern in a very, very bullish diamonds chart. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now the SPY yesterday tried really hard, that surge into big tech, and it was really big tech. It was big tech doing the majority of the lifting in the SPY yesterday. And because big tech has such a massive weighting now, in the SPY, they were able to lift this market pretty substantially yesterday. But unfortunately, at the end of the day, left some questions behind. So let's take a look. We've got a trend right through here and looking pretty good. We could also draw a trend right off of this area um, in the chart. So we're looking really good here overall. But when we zoom up here a little bit yesterday, we saw that we came up here and we challenged uh, trying to break out, trying to reach a new record high. And it was rejected within just a few ticks of making that occur. And we saw those sellers come back in on the day. Now, that always has to raise the concern that this may be a stronger resistance than we'd like it to be. And we could see, um, you know, kind of that double top, that pullback in here. Now, I, I hate using the term double top. Um, in the sense that um, I don't see anything majorly bearish here in the chart. Um, we continue to have the higher lows and we are holding above a price support. But what this may suggest is that we could continue this slide sideways out here to rest a little bit. And once again, I think that would be pretty healthy for the market to do if we can just kind of calm down a little bit uh, from these wild whips that we've seen and, and wild surge and pullback. Um, just a little rest in here would be healthy for the market. Can't say that's what we're gonna get, but um, that's what I'm curious as could be the possibility. But 
Obviously, that is just a little tiny bit of concern with that pullback yesterday. Now, this morning, you can see in the pre-market, we're trying to pump it up here again this morning, and that seems to be the normal course of action anymore. We just pump it and pump it and pump it in the pre-market, trying to get folks to engage, but we seem to be lacking a little bit of momentum overall. And with the holiday um, shutdown just around the corner here, um, we could see that lack of volume um, showing up um, pretty early today. So let's watch closely for that. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. Now that NASDAQ, big tech really did get a nice surge yesterday. And I've been talking about how this right here, that downtrend is a little bit of a concern, but we've had these rising lows in the chart. And so we've just been waiting for something to um, show that break. So we got the answer yesterday. We didn't break down and make that new low. What we did is finally broke that downtrend with a nice surge to the upside. Unfortunately, by the end of the day, we were still challenged by that 50 day moving average. Now notice they're really trying to push here this morning in the pre-market. They're trying to inspire us through that 50 day moving average. Once again though, I'm gonna remind you that we have a holiday shutdown um, getting ready to begin. And it is entirely possible we could pop up into this area. Just make note right here. Twice we popped up through there and then we ended up pulling back. So I want to caution everyone about chasing this morning's open. Be really, really careful on that. In case that volume does start to shrink rather quickly today, um, it is nice that we're seeing this bullishness in the market, but I'm not sure um, that we're out of the woods here yet. And if we take a close look here, just notice we still have considerable overhead resistance that we need to address here yet in the tech sector. So may not be quite um, as bullish as we would like it to be. Certainly some reason there's some um, stocks out there certainly that are showing bullishness um, in that tech sector, but watch that pretty closely. Then let's take a look at IWM. IWM um, also enjoyed a good day. We saw um, IWM rallying yesterday, but once again, we are still challenged by these price resistance levels in the chart. We're trying to push through that this morning, and notice that we still have these resistance levels up here that we're gonna have to deal with as we rally back up. But the good news is we came up there and challenged that 50 day moving average, pulled back to it and this morning we're trying to pop on through. And we did hold, overall we did hold this support level in the chart. So I don't think we have anything here that is saying bullish or bearish in any way, but I'm not seeing that big momentum push either here in the market. We are trying to recover, but I see that as just being kind of grinding um, in its recovery at the moment. So once again, be a little bit careful chasing into the open just in case we happen to see um, that opportunity where the bears could fight back a little bit. And with rising bonds, um, that is a concern. Let's take a look at that for just a second. If we look at TNX, um, this, is a, this is a challenge that um, continues to um, plague the market here. And really, it's gonna be rough on the tech sector as we continue to see those borrowing rate rates going up, um, pressures on that um, adding. And then of course, if we do uh, pass this new infrastructure bill, it's going to increase corporate taxes dramatically. So that's also going to have a little bit of a pull um, on um, those uh, tech sector companies. So we've got some challenges ahead, but let's just keep a close eye on it. It's not comfortable knowing that we're trying to push up in a rally today and seeing bonds increasing. Um, we're gonna have to watch that close. Let's take a look at our T2122. T2122, the four week new high, new low ratio. And yesterday we saw a, a push in that four week new high. We pushed back up and at one point in time, we were kind of up in this area. We'd pushed up in here. But by the end of the day, those uh, profit takers came back in and we pushed right back down here into that mid range. So again, we just have that little momentum question here. Will we have enough to push on through to the upside considering the holiday shutdown ahead? Or will we just kind of have more of a muted day? Um, 
just watch this carefully. Now T2122 doesn't tell us which direction we're going to go. It just gives us that opportunity, it tells us that we have plenty of upside opportunity here now. We also have plenty of downside opportunity. So it all depends on what garners the attention today in those economic reports and earnings reports and things like that, that um, where we get our inspiration for the day. And of course, if if bonds continue to rally, that could also create some issues there. Then let's take a look at T2101. The absolute market breadth. Now, I got to tell you, um, this is still a concern. You know, when you when you look at the uh, heat map of the S&P 500 yesterday, the majority of the lift was just in five tech companies. That was the majority that was lifting. Uh, a lot of everything else was just kind of sliding sideways and going south. And we can see that in uh, the absolute breadth. We continue to struggle once again with that momentum question. Will we have enough push to continue to push these new record highs? Um, still in question here. Watch that closely. We, we continue, our absolute breadth continues in this downtrending um, um, scale. So just watch that closely. I can't say it's bearish, but I don't want to say that we should just be rushing in either. Just watch that close. Then let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar, we've got kind of a busy morning here on that calendar. We're going to start off the morning here with jobless claims and we know how jobless claims can move us around a little bit so keep a close eye on that um, I think there's a lot of hope that we're going to start seeing some recovery in this um, but always keep in mind that sometimes um, that those recovery things are a little bit delayed a little slower than we'd like to see but watch that closely um, on that report this morning that could certainly move the market before we get opened up then we've got PMI manufacturing certainly can move the market probably the bigger one that really has more impact is going to be that ISM number keep a close eye on that they're looking for a consensus on these are, are looking for some nice positive numbers so if they happen to disappoint that's where we could run into some issues and then construction spending we have a natural gas report I don't think the natural gas report has anything um, you know I don't think that'll move the market at all and as a matter of fact I think once we get through some of these morning reports I would be really surprised if we don't see volumes really start dropping back and price action become really really choppy as a matter of fact this afternoon you may be only uh, trading against um, a computer out there in the market because I think those trading floors are going to clear pretty quickly today and folks will be heading out for their three-day weekend so consider that carefully consider your risk carefully we do have the Fed balance sheet here um, this afternoon but I don't think anybody cares um, um, how much debt we pick up anymore um, no one seems to be paying attention to that. Now, keep in mind, although we're shut down tomorrow, we're also going to get that, that employment situation number. And what that means on that getting that employment situation number in a market shutdown is, depending on how that comes in, it could have a major effect on the Monday open. So you want to think about that risk as you're planning forward into the weekend. Um, let's take a look at um, our earnings calendar. Now, our earnings calendar has... <laughs> 30 some companies, um, 36 companies on it, but the vast majority of those companies are unverified reports. And what we have left is a whole lot of nothing, honestly, in those verified reports, um, really, really um, small cap companies. However, I was able to pull out one um, that I think is, is pretty notable and we'll wanna keep an eye on that. KMX, and you can see KMX, it looks like we may have already gotten the report here on KMX, and we're getting a little bit of bearishness on that report this morning. But keep a close eye on it. Overall, I still think this has got a trend and it's got some support in here. So although we, we might have disappointed here a little bit on the report, I don't think there's anything really technically damaged here in the chart just yet. Just watch that closely. 
how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that guys if you can all do me a favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos and if you feel that this this video was worthy if you could please click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment I would truly truly appreciate it you know for everyone listening that attended our open house on Monday Tuesday and Wednesday I want to say thank you to everyone and also thank you to the members that allowed us to to do that um, with the public and um, hopefully you saw something here with us that's a little bit different um, not a whole lot of hype and prediction just really straight up straightforward trading and um, if you find that to be helpful if you could please just stay in touch with us here on the YouTube channel if you didn't become a member or take a trial um, just stick with us here on the YouTube channel um, um, see how we move through uh, this process and hopefully we can help you with your trading let's take a look at um, some stocks setting up and remember when we look at those stocks setting up we have to remember that they these are not a recommendation to buy or sell a security as a matter of fact um, I really highly recommend everyone has their own trade plan you understand the risks of all of your trades and that you never ever blindly follow anyone else's position let's take a look at some stocks um, first off Microsoft yesterday won a big contract from the army and we had a nice surge um, yesterday pulled back at the end of the day and we're gapping a little bit higher this morning but I got to tell you this is still a pretty choppy trade as you can see these are these are some pretty big swings for Microsoft just whipping back and forth and albeit they are in an upside move we still have some challenges here to deal with in this chart in this wedging pattern so what I've been looking at here in Microsoft is I have actually switched to a longer term chart a weekly chart take a look at this you can see I've placed a price alert here in this chart and I'm watching this although we've been whipping and pretty good around on the daily chart notice how we're tightening up this move here on the weekly and as we slide out here toward this trend I'm going to be watching this for a potential entry into Microsoft now it is going to be I'll be planning a longer term hold and that said I have to be aware of the earnings report coming up on 5.5 but watch this closely Microsoft looking pretty good here on that weekly chart might be worth keeping an eye on going back to a daily chart let's take a look at a DD Now DD had a little bit of selling yesterday but I don't think anything um, fell out of bed here on this chart we've been largely cons consolidating here we just need that bullish momentum to pick up here in the market and we'll want to watch this closely and see if that has that opportunity maybe push on through can't say that it will but I'm watching that nice little trend and that possibility that it could move on through take a look at Intel Intel has been enjoying kind of a nice little rest here notice these little doji candles in rest here we popped up nicely had this by the way is a morning star type of pattern as you can see that big old bearish candle nice little resting candle and the bullish candle that crosses more than halfway up that black candle and it happens to be engaging right here off of trend so that's a good sign the only question that we have is we still have this resistance above here in Intel and perhaps we just need a little bit more rest or consolidating um, uh, work in here to build that to build that pressure to the upside but watch this closely as you can see I've placed a price alert on here I can't say that I'm gonna buy this um, just right away um, on this chart considering that overhead resistance but watch that carefully Intel looking good and trying to come back around if these big techs are going to improve that might be one to keep an eye on take a look at Bloomin now Bloomin pulled back here but I've been watching this um, this is a beautiful upside trend it's pretty hard not to make money when a trend um, is that strong in a chart and this is a massive breakout 
of a long-term resistance in that chart. Now, take a look at this. We're resting along this trend, and we did get um, a little bit of pullback, and we're showing um, that resting pullback back in toward this trend. But let's watch this. If we can hold this in here, fill out this little wedge, there may be some opportunities coming here in Bloomin'. Can't say that you know we're right at that point where we could fail the trend as well, but I'm gonna be watching this and I'm favoring the upside because of this trend. And I'll be watching this closely for a potential entry. I think we should be keeping an eye on Foot Locker. Foot Locker has been running in this upside trend. Notice we have consolidated for a pretty good period of time here resting we did see quite a little bit of volatility here with the market big whips in that but notice how the price action is calming down we're getting much more concise in this price action if we can catch some bullishness in the market if some momentum can pick up you might want to keep an eye on Foot Locker if it can pop on through and get going in that chart I'm also keeping an eye on um, some of the packaged foods um, areas. Now, yesterday we saw some selling coming in on this, but um, keeping an eye on Tyson, if this can bounce right back up, um, we could be in pretty good shape. Keep an eye on this though. We do have this bearish double top pattern. And if this fails, it may just completely fall out of bed. So it's one of those that could go either direction, but I'm keeping an eye on it. Watch that one closely. I have to say I'm kind of um, um, watching um, energy sector stocks pretty closely. And that energy sector, take a look at CVX, breaking this big downtrend and we're resting. And I was hoping we would engage this little trend right in here, but it looks like we need a bit more rest here in um, that CVX chart. So let's watch this. This is consolidates. As long as we can hold some of these price support levels in the chart and we can hold onto that downtrend, I think we're in a pretty good uh, position here. If we can get some bullishness coming into that energy sector, we could certainly start to perk back up and get going here on those charts. Um, let's take a look at the financial sector as well. Um, the financial sector has been resting here for a bit. Now we know we had that um, big hedge fund failure and there was concerns and fluctuations in the market as a result of that. But keep a close eye on this. XLF overall has been holding up very, very strong. And we know the Fed keeps supporting the banks. I mean, we just keep pumping money to the banks like crazy. Um, the Fed's foot is on the gas when it comes to this. And as you can see, we're just resting in here. Nice little tight consolidation. And I think it would be worthy at this point to place a price alert right in here, just in case we happen to engage here before too long and pop through and start gaining some of that energy back into those financials. So watch that close. So there's a few things for you to look at. Uh, take a take a gander at today and maybe put on your list. Hey, I want to wish everyone a fantastic day. Thanks for being here. I, I will be back at answering uh, the comments today. Um, thank you to everyone who's been leaving those comments and I've been trying to um, recognize those late in the, in the day, um, but I haven't had time to answer them um, with the open house and everything going on. So um, I will be getting back to that today. So if you have questions, please feel free to ask. I'd love to love to help you with your trading. Everyone take care. Have an awesome, awesome day. And I want to wish you a fantastic holiday weekend. Take care, everyone.